What's up guys? Welcome to the Maintenance Man channel. My name is Neil. I appreciate you joining me tonight. Tonight is just like kind of a little different of a video. I'm just going to talk about levels and uh, like my obsession with Stanley levels and and why I have that obsession. Um, this is not educational or anything. This is just it's like a me video, you know, something I want to make. Um, so basically, it all started, you know, my dad had a lot of Stanley tools because he was a, I mean, he wasn't an, even a DIYer. It was just, you know, an expensive option of tools. But, you know, I mean, they sold tools. So this was his level. I kind of stole it off him because I knew he wasn't using it. So I did go buy a hyper tough two foot one and give it to him. This is a Stanley handyman. Here we go. Let's zoom in here. It's a two foot level. It's a handyman number H1297 24. Stanley handyman. Uh, I'm, this is like a blue color, it would have been. You know, you could tell I did try to clean it up a little bit here and there. It's still, you know, very true level um no issues with it and you know it's a, it's a nice little two foot level solid i mean it is solid look at that look at that that's i mean that's thick you know that is thick it's solid beefy um very visible little spirit level bubbles in there you know so so I got that, and then the second level I got for my house, this is a four-footer, so you won't, won't be able to see the whole thing, but a little Pro Beam from Walmart. It's like 12 bucks for a four-footer, you know? I mean, Jesus. How can you pass up that deal? So anyways, another good level. I mean, it's 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 cheap. You can feel the cheapness, but it has, you know, it's it's done its job. It's it's worked for me. Um definitely nice to have a four foot level that just you know it's like an outside outdoor or indoor if you need an indoor type level and then you know then that got me stepping up to the uh the fat max the two foot two foot little little fat max here solid solid got got nice magnets on it on the bottom there the neo diddlium dum 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 magnets nice little grabber handle and it's just they're nice they're nice affordable levels you're not going to break the bank on them they're durable right so lasting lasting for me and i have a i have a bunch of levels actually i got a six foot uh i don't it's not fat max and it's not the the eye beam it's like somewhere in between but it's a nice stanley level so i also found these a couple years ago at a property and this one you know just a a wood level uh it's very light wood it's, it's a nice it's it's a cool wood but you can tell like the little metal insert here is kind of cheaper um same with the the top one i mean that, that might even be like an updated i don't know what year this is from but interesting enough, so I'm looking at it, and on the bottom, there you go, Japan is what that says, Japan. So it's it's a it's a Japanese level, and if you know in the comment section, what what kind of wood do you think this was made with if it were Japanese? made because it's, it's super light so i i get that seems like a cool level but i also found this one with it and this is a pretty beefy level seen better days for sure but if you look at the top of it what we come up with here is if we can focus um here we go let me see here focus so what it says is 
Goodell Pratt Company, Greenfield, Massachusetts, USA. Let's see if we can, there you go. This is heavy, heavy duty, needs a little bit of cleaning up. Um, I've had both of these levels for a while. I just, I thought they were interesting and I didn't want to do anything with them because, you know, it's like, it's like the last thing you want to do with older stuff. Fast forward a little bit. I hop on the Ebays, right? I got some, some good prices for some old levels. So what do I get? A two footer, another two footer. And this is a handyman Stanley. And we got H1298 is the, uh, the mall number. Like brand new, came in a box, like the original box. Look, looks awesome, you know, has, has the red. Very much like the other one, although... Yeah, it's looking about the exact, the exact same there. Just a little different inserts. I actually think this one is older than this one, but uh, I'll have to do a little research on that, see what's up. So I got that one, like not expensive. It's like a normal level price. Like you're not, you're not paying anything extra. So then I get their little little torpedo little stanley handyman torpedo Let's see if it brings it to focus here and made in usa number h 129i i guess just a nice little torpedo level lightly used probably like a you know, like a like a home gamer. So it brings me to this. So this is what I'm getting at. I buy this one. Not very expensive. Like I was comfortable with the price. This is a Stanley. Made in USA. Genuine cherry. Best wood for levels says it right on there. Two foot wood level. I just I thought it was beautiful. I really wanna uh, gonna put this in my basement, just on display because I mean how can you not? Stanley made in USA, number three to adjust adjustments. There, there's the little. Got a little black paint in there. I mean, it's just, it's gorgeous. The ends. So what was that brass? Has to be, right? Something like that. I, I don't know. It's just, le like, to me, levels, they're, this is beautiful. Look at that. Look at the wood. I mean, it, I know it seems odd. Probably seems odd to people, but these wood levels kind of got me. A looking and I you know I was looking for a while on eBay and I just I came across this new in box has the freaking right here boom I mean look how printed in the USA you know this says printed in the USA we got freaking craftsman tape measure said made in USA with global materials how backwards is that Skilled artisans, though. Look at that. Bailey Plains. Bob. It's it's just, it's cool. I have to think of something to display this with all the wonderful Steeler paraphernalia I have in my basement. Which isn't a lot. I got to add to that also. But just, it's so cool. So, I wanted to share that with you guys. So, my, I don't know. I, I was... It's like, this is heavy. It's heavy. This one is actually heavier. 
about the same. About the same as a Stanley. This one's super light, so did they, you know, do they have better wood? Do they know something different? You know, a lot of people think, you know, Asian stuff's cheaper, which, you know, I'm not going to knock anyone for thinking that. But I'm thinking maybe redoing one of the these Japanese ones to have, like, them all on display and just be, like, perfect. Probably going to keep the USA one, just, like, clean it up but not, like, redo it. And then I might just redo the Japanese. So give me your opinions down in the comment section. I know this video is a little different, a little weird. I just, I thought this was so cool. Um, this is kind of some of the stuff that I just, I get into. I like, I like, I like levels and tape measures. Um, you know, I'm not a collector of anything, but, and I probably won't go much further than these. But, I mean, very few imperfections and just... Uh, the craftsmanship that just went into it, just um, unbelievable. Very cool stuff. You don't see it every day, so, you know, I I thought I'd let you guys see it and check it out. And, um, you know, I, I appreciate you guys watching. If you aren't subscribed, get subscribed. I do a lot of great tool reviews and cool stuff like this. You know, stuff that uh, just like hobby, you know, stuff. Um, and if you haven't checked me out on Instagram, at man the maintenance on Instagram, I post, uh, I've been trying to post a lot of videos of me, of the, of the work I do and the tools I'm using and as I'm using them. So you can get a, a double account of how the tools I'm reviewing on YouTube are working for me over my job. Uh, anyways, guys, I appreciate you all watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, get subscribed, like, comment, share, and hit the uh, that notification bell. And I will catch you on the next one. Later.